Yes, this is, this is about one of the last things I have to do on Mother's List. And I don't know why I've been putting it off. I've been doing all the other stuff for it because I knew this was going to take a while. I've got to get the tall ladder out because see, these ceilings are up high. These 10 foot ceilings, this ceiling up here is higher. Luckily, there's no smoke alarm in there, but see this main uh, front entrance ceiling is up, oh, I don't know, 12, 13 feet. That's why I've got to get that big old tall ladder up. But I'm going to start in here in the office area. And the first thing I'm gonna do before I do anything, see, you look at this and see that green light? I'm gonna turn the electrical breaker off inside the sub panel till I know that green light is off because then that should mean that uh, one circuit is probably connected to all of the different smoke alarms. And I got, like I say, six different smoke alarms here to do. And I, you know, I can do them hard, hot wired. And then you got to do one wire nut at a time, hold your mouth just right, hope that you don't get shocked and all that. But the safest thing to do is turn your breaker off, okay? Don't forget. Aha, here's the breaker panel. It's outside, and I haven't opened this for a while, so it might take me just a couple minutes to get this open. I should probably have a screwdriver or something. <laughs> yeah, looks like somebody bent this. Ah. Hmm, may have to get a screwdriver after all. I was looking for a rock here. It's not going to work. Do I dare risk one of my keys? <laughs> I don't know if I should do that either. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I just bent my key. Okay, can't do that. See, usually all your breakers are marked if the electrician has done a good job. And see, they're either going to be off of a 15 amp breaker or a 20 amp breaker. So it's not going to be a 50, a double 50, 60, 30. And you just look on here. Here's a dryer, air conditioner, oven. Lights and plugs, lights and plugs, 20 amp dedicated. Kitchen, bedrooms, golf cart, bath, GFI, furnace. Okay, so see, there's nothing on here, so it's guesswork now. And it's probably going to be somewhere under lights and plugs, I'm guessing. It's probably going to be under a 15 amp breaker, because the kitchen is, I know it's not going to be that. Those are 20 amp. That's for the supplies, for the appliances and stuff. Usually they do that for kitchens, microwave, dishwasher. Here's 20 amp dedicated, so I know that it's not that. Dedicated means that's just for one particular item. Okay, and that's garage. So my guess is, and see here's bedrooms. What I like there is, uh, here's some test buttons here. You can test that and then this will this will uh, go off. And we're not really talking about that, but um, you know, see if I press this, this should snap off, see? And then to reset it, you have to turn it all the way off, make sure it clicks, then turn it back all the way on, like that. I'm probably gonna have to go in there and check, make sure any no clocks are are flashing now. So I'm gonna say it's one of these lights and plugs, and I can do one at a time, or I could have somebody inside saying, you know, on the on the cell phone or something, and tell me when that when it's off. I'm just gonna do one under lights and plugs. See, that's one breaker. This is a double thin twin breaker is what it is. That way it goes into one space. Isn't that cool? You can see these breakers over here, see how fat these are? This is one, one breaker here, and it fits in each one of these. But then you can also get a twin and stack them. See how they did this? Here, this is two breakers. So there's eight breakers right here in the span of four slots. And there's only four breakers here. See how that kind of works? Okay, I'm gonna go back inside, back and forth. If it's not that one, I'm gonna turn it back on, go to the next one. 
back and forth until I, I see that light off. Okay, here's something else you're gonna have to do. See that green light there? Well, what's gonna happen, and I just kind of found this out just now, is that that light, green light is probably gonna stay on because these are hardwired and they also have a nine volt battery in them. So I think when you turn the breaker off, that green light's gonna stay on because the nine volt battery's still up there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna take the nine volt battery out, then I'm gonna go back and then see if that green light stays on, which I think it's going to, then I can turn the breaker off and then that green light should go off up there. You follow me? Now you could, if you had a wire tester, you could pull this all apart, take the wire nuts out, having it hot, and then check that, and then uh, do it that way. But this, you know, that takes a little bit more time and effort. You still need two people for that. You know, this is much safer, so I'm gonna get up there, take that battery out, and check it again. Boy, took a little bit of effort just to get this ladder up in here. Okay, so this particular smoke alarm has the side, has this face um, little slide. And you just push it out here, and then you kind of pull this out on one side or the other. You're going to be able to fit your finger in there, pull it out like that. Okay, and I've got the, I've got the battery out. And see, this, this door is not going to close without the battery in there. That's kind of slick. Okay, so now, yes, the green light is still on, and I thought that was going to be the case. Now, but now that I have this battery out, once I turn off the proper breaker, that green light should then go out. See that green light up there? Yes, that should go out once I turn off the right breaker. Okay. Okay, news flash. That green light will go off with the battery on there. Okay? Because I looked at the other breaker uh, uh, the other smoke alarms. After I turned the breaker off, that light went off. Then I checked I checked this one up here. This one still has the battery in it right now and the breaker's off and the light is off. Okay? So, you do not have to have that 9 volt battery in there and most smoke alarms have a 9 volt battery here it is right there but what you're gonna have to realize is these might still chirp even without the battery in there and there might be something else did you hear that it just chirped there's something else in there right there and there's some sort of backup on there even that light is off and I know the power is not up there, but I mean, I could take that, that top cover off and it's probably still going to do that for a little bit. And there's probably something in there. Now, your smoke alarm might be a little bit different than that, but now I know the power is off of there and I can remove that and get her going. Okay. I'm kind of doing this on the fly, but, and I think I only need a Phillips screwdriver for this. I'm just going to turn this sideways and the top of it pops off like that. Okay. Now on this particular one on the back, it's got a plug in here and I'm just going to unplug that and snap it like that. So far so good. Now I got this off. Okay. Now here's something to realize. This is a perfectly good smoke alarm, but it's 10 years old. It's just hitting a little bit beyond 10 years old, okay? And they suggest and recommend that even though your smoke alarm may still be working, that you replace the entire thing after 10 years. That's why we're doing it, and that's why we're changing it to the 10-year battery backup hardwired smoke alarm. Before I mess with the wires, I'm just going to unscrew the mounting screws for this trim, okay? You don't have to unscrew these, these screws all the way. You just take it like that, and this is on a slide, 
And you can slide it over and then you can remove that, just like that. Okay. Now I can kind of undo these wires. I'm not going to undo the wire nuts just yet. I'm just going to kind of pull this down. I'm still going to be kind of careful with these wires just on the off chance that you think it's off and maybe it's not really off. I still do that anyways and, and I don't know if I have a wire tester here. I don't think I do but I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty safe because I've already checked everything. I did my double check with the battery out and with it in there and I've got the breaker off. The green light came off. Okay. Now did you notice how these wires went? They were rolled up like that and then they were pushed back in. When you take it, everything out, just kind of remember how you remove things. Okay, because it's going to go back up the same way and I noticed I've got red wires and that's connected to a yellow wire and the yellow is just going to go here because out of this goodie here it came with a smoke alarm. Okay, there's a black white and yellow wire. Obviously the black goes to black, white goes to white, and the yellow goes with whatever else you got up there. Okay, which is probably going to be red or whatever. Now if yours are different colors, if it's white, black, and blue, white, black, and yellow, white, black, and green, whatever it is, you know that the white goes to the white, black goes to the black. Okay. There's your next step. Now at this point, before I do anything else, I'm not even going to take this apart just yet. I'm going to take my new smoke alarm apart out of the box, kind of check it, read the directions a little bit on it before I do anything with this. These, these screws up here, I might leave those, or if the other ones have a bigger head on them, let's say, I might replace those. But if they're the same size, I can leave these other screws in here. In fact, this one I might want to loosen a little bit more and, uh, just whatever okay now I'm going to get that other the brand new one open up and check her out so I understand how it goes before I disconnect this